Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bon Bon B and you're very, very welcome. And a very happy new year to one and all. I hope you're not carrying too much of a hangover because I've got something a little bit striking for you. Yes, a new multicoloured spinning disc for being kind in the comments. Just in case you've forgotten, it was still there, you see. So, uh, yeah, if you've got a hangover, I apologise for the uh, brightness. You just deal with it, okay? <laughs> So we're up and running. Uh, today we have got a very nice map. We're at the top of the workshop looking at the top performing map of the moment. And this map is going to go into pole position for map of the year 2022. Did you see the map of the year series 2021? If not, why not? Why not? The very best maps from last year. We don't do this for fun, you know. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this one's into pole position. It's also going to be the worst map we've seen this year, but that's because it's the only one. So I think we'll we'll be kind and say it's the best. But before we do any of that, of course, we'll start the show with, as always, the daily reminder. That's right. Clicking that like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people, and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map is Stingray Bay by Snoozeby. Yes, the loading screen thumbnail was taken by night. There it is. Isn't it great at night? Lovely. Let's have a look at that Start Square. Start Square is strong. Start Square is very strong. I like this one. This is definitely a, uh, a bonbon bon pleaser. And also the map as a whole. Nice shape. Um, interesting nooks and crannies and plenty of flat space as well to get into. We've got uh, strong resources as well, I mean, in terms of oil and forestry. And so, yeah, you can have a good game there with those. And if you've got Sunset Harbour and you want to do some fishing, we've got some strong fishing as well. Uh, especially for the anchovies, like a bit of anchovy. <laughs> Just a bit, though, not too many. Off to the workshop, what do we need? No DLC required today. We'll be using the Biomes theme and the Biomes LUTs because this new Stingray Bay is 100% vanilla. Yeah, just under the uh, maximum tree count as well for base games, so there is that too. Uh, the, the biome theme and that, of course, were created by Snoozeby as well. So all of this, everything you see today, apart from the vanilla assets, is Snoozeby's own work. And uh, we have reviewed them once in the past, in case you recognise their name. We've reviewed them once. That was the biomes map that goes with the theme and that. Uh, episode 1297, I gave it a middle middle, nine stars, and nine stars is the pass mark, there was nothing to grumble about. There was nothing for me to get too excited about either. Snoozeby has gone up a level, and uh, I'm very excited by some of their other work as well, which has gone on to the long list. We've, we've had to skip, there's so many maps, there are so many maps, that uh, we've had to put a couple of other maps onto the long list, and... I can't wait for them to get to the top of that because it's just uh, that they're, I mean, I could queue jump any map I wanted to, but I want to queue jump half of them. And Snoozeby's work is uh, definitely that. They're, they're definitely a creator with some interesting visions. Like, for example, here we have this, this is our first intersection. Again, perfectly lovely intersection. No issues with that or basically any part of the map today. And that heads off to the headland over there. And it's worth having a look at that, which we'll do in the second half of the show, because uh, if I do all the interesting stuff now, then the show just tapers out, doesn't it? I end up just talking to myself. 2022 is going to be like that, isn't it? Just talking to myself. <laughs> just kidding. Let's get back on the ball. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, a few of you might have a minor grumble about the slight like, glitching between the roads because of the distance that they are apart. Um, they could be a little closer together, a little further apart. Those are the two options to prevent the uh, that vanilla style of glitching, but um, it's 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 dealable. I don't actually have too much of a problem with it, but yeah, I have noticed it, and I know others will grumble if I don't mention. There's that start square, and uh, the uh, assets of the day are already in place. So we'll we'll quickly whiz away. I forgot they were there. Uh, we'll quick quickly whiz away, and we'll come back to that as we can. Um, yeah, now. Uh, whilst we're here, uh, I did put up a little uh, a little video yesterday. Yesterday, day before, I'm losing track. What day are we? 
<laughs> I don't know. Um, the Move It mod. The Move It mod video being the Move It mod is broken. Uh, I'd like to uh, apologise to Cuboid. It, apparently it's not the Move It mod that's broken, but the EML mod. My solution will probably still work, but uh, I, I apologise to Q, uh, Cuboid for saying that their mod is broken when it's actually another mod that is conflicting with it and but it's still, at the end of the day still, just be patient if your move it mod is broken um because that's what you're going to notice the eml mod you won't notice uh then um and that's where that uh, the headline goes all the way around there we'll get to that second half of the show so yeah if you're um if, you, if you're having problems with move it uh have a quick look at my video. It'll give you the solution. It'll give you links to a couple of versions of Move It that should work for you, and uh, or alternatively switch away from the new um, proper Anarchy mod. It, it's a oh, no, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. But like I say, it will be fixed. We've got some beautiful modders. Um, they care so much. They put in so much of their own time and love and make the game so much more for us guys. So just be patient. Uh, wait a couple of days. If the if the game isn't working for you, wait a couple of days. It, they will fix this. They will they'll find the solution and they will fix this. One thing I need to fix. I am absolutely certain that I unsubscribed from the Steam trains, and for some reason, they're back. Uh, I, I I'm not saying this for showmanship. I genuinely don't know why I've got a Steam train on my map. Don't I I'm subscribed from them and I don't get it. I don't know what's what is going on. I'm confused and baffled, bemused. Anyway, um yeah, the rail's fine on this map as well. Yeah, so strong highways, strong rail, nice landscapes, um, nice uh, theme and lut. It's nice and it's vanilla for those of you that want vanilla, and it's within the tree limit if you want to stay within the tree limit. So many things. It's a good one. Told you, it's a good one. Snooze B, you're a winner. Let's re <laughs> reward ourselves with a break. Are you fed up with random vanilla buildings spawning in random locations? Do you want a specific type of building in a particular zone? Then you need the beginner's guide to theme management. Click the information button below. And so back to Stingray Bay by Snoozeby and the shipping routes. We got this one, which does what it needs to do in this part of the map, just along the edge of the map. That's all it needed to do there. So good work there. Then we have this one that comes in and across the map. And that will do a little shipping triangle at the edge of the map there, which is absolutely perfect. And then we go in through and into the bay. And the shipping route, I mean, it's going to dead end in the bay. There is no way out of the bay apart from going back out the way we came. But it gives us access to all of them. It, the shipping route does exactly what you need it to do. Water flow. Uh, we have got water flow in the start square. Here's your start square area. The water widens up. We've got uh, motion in that ocean. And all the things that you want for a vanilla base game style build is there. I mean, it's just quite nice, isn't it? Uh, we have here um, a bay in the shape of a stingray, apparently. I don't see it. But I am liking the uh, the sand detailing under the uh, water. It gives a little bit of extra extra shape and extra bit of... Um, it makes it feel more alive, doesn't it? it makes it alive, I tell you. Um, beaches? Beaches are fine. They might drop away a little bit under the water, but it's quite hard to see whether it does or it doesn't. And the point is we're not supposed to see that. And if you're not supposed to see it, we're not going to look at it. But looking at it from here, I mean, I'd say, yeah, that's that that works for me. Then we have a lake up here in the mountains. And uh, again, I think the theme, the theme for the uh, the mountains and for the blue of the water. Yes, we are getting reflection off the cube map. So uh, we're getting a little reflection off the ceiling, basically, to give us the color of the blue. But also little farming areas. Uh, this is cute. I think I'm going with the word cute. Uh, kind of, it's kind of got um, almost Italian vibes to me, what's going on along here. Uh, but yeah, the standing stones, uh, they're, they're, they're cute. I don't think they're intended to be realistic in any way, shape or form. It's a, it's a cute area. Oh, it's cute is today's word, I feel. <laughs> don't enter it into the comments, you won't get points. Uh, loving the, the rigidity of the mountains. They work really well on the map. 
and then we've got another little cute lake over here as well and then uh, if we head over ah yes over here to, towards the headland right now if if snooze speed done their job right we would have a nice big old bridge linking across here wouldn't we but of course snooze hasn't done their job right they're leaving you to do the job right look at this we have got a break off uh, highway here and they're going into dirt tracks and then we've got our first few pillars down and a path drawn out across the islands to where you need to follow so if you want to do this you can put your own bridges in at your own cost i like that that's a little bit of scenario play which is just a little bit of fun just remember though we have shipping routes in here so if you do it make sure the middle of this pass here is high enough to allow for that vanilla cruiser so yeah that's your job <laughs> snooze me's not going to get any shipping clipping on this map because it's down to you i like that idea i think it's it's good clean work credit for that one uh oh one last thing to show you i think this is possibly a dried out pond uh, it's obviously a very deliberately left divot in the ground and i i find it visually pleasing it works with the map i mean it, what, is it a dried out pond i think that's probably what it's supposed to be anyway yeah let's head down to the start square and have a look at the assets of the day because they're, they're they're quite cute as well today <laughs> cute's the word that's a bit like me when i was about three <laughs> and then the cuteness dropped off very very quickly uh when the nose started evolving oh my gosh see bonbon's baby nose ah uh, okay today's asset of the day is the int sitting areas decoration by comrade intense these are props not buildings so you can plop them anywhere you like and uh yeah it should uh should brighten up a few little park areas i feel and factoids because factoids stingray bay so factoids about stingray uh, is a science fiction television program uh, that ran for 39 episodes during the mid 1960s. It was the work of Jerry Anderson's Super Mario Nation, not Super Mario, Super Mario Nation, before Super Mario. I wonder if he could sue Nintendo. Anyway, um, and it was the first show to be filmed in Vidicolor. <laughs> the show follows the adventures of the World Aquanaut Security Patrol Wasp, focusing on the exploits of Aqu Aquanaut Troy Tempest, the captain of the underwater craft Stingray. Basically, it was puppets. Think Thunderbirds. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Wow. I was a bigger fan of Captain Scarlet, personally, but this isn't called Scarlet Bay, is it? Uh, Int Sitting Areas Decoration by Comrade Intense. Very nice. <laughs> Asset Pack of the Day. Link is, as always, in the description, as is the link to the map. As always. Always, always, always. But what do you think of the map? Your chance to choose. Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewer's choice top 10. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Only you can decide. Hit the i button now in the top right corner of your screen or the link in the description. It'll take you to the voting page where you can vote for free with a Facebook, Gmail, Apple or a Patreon account. But what do I think of today's map? Well, I think Snooze Beast definitely done it. Uh, remember, Anything that gets four stars is a great score, and it's getting four stars for aesthetics from me. Um, the uh, the biome theme and luck work really well with this, the, with the landscaping, the shape of the map, uh, all of it. It doesn't quite scream at me that it, it needs to be near a five star, but I can go right down the middle on a four. Detailing, uh, yeah, I mean, what detailing there is, is of a good standard. Again, I don't feel that I can reward it with anything near a five star, but I can go, I can go mid low four. Just it's fine. It's per perfectly fine and of a high standard fine. Gameplay potential. Yep, this is a playable map that entices you to want to play. Uh, it's not going to let you down, and it adds in the scenario factor as well of possibly having to build the bridge yourself if you want to. So let's go medium high four stars for gameplay. It's all the fours. Stingray Bay by Snoozeby. But can I award my first Bomb Bomb BC of approval of 2022? I think I can. I think I can. And yes, goes into the box seat for map of the year. Uh, will it still be there at the end of the year? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The standards have been going up and up and up. And even, even newbies are coming in and churning out like 
14 star maps these days. I don't know how they're able to, but they do. Anyway, if you're still here, you're part of the 20 and out elite, use the words of the day in the comments to score yourself some population points just for fun. If you can use cute as well, you get a double bonus point. There you go. Award yourself 200. I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the Watch Map series. See you then.